Okay, no intro this time because I know many of you guys want to know my thoughts about this. A few days ago, it has been announced that Naruto is going to end in five weeks, in November 10th. Now, I'm not going to get all reminiscent on this series, at least not until we get the final chapter, but I will say this. I was not expecting Naruto to end in five weeks. I thought this series was going to go on a little bit longer, considering that we just got into the Naruto vs. Sasuke fight, at least until we got close to the end of the year. But since this series is going to end in November, this is either a good or a bad thing. Good because that way the series will no longer be dragged out any further, and bad because that means so many questions will be left unanswered. Plus, with five chapters left, that would mean that the Naruto vs. Sasuke fight won't last very long. I mean, back in part one, when they first fought at the Valley of the End, it lasted for around seven chapters, give or take a few. So, this fight might last for like either three or four chapters, who knows? But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna kind of miss this series once it ends. I mean, this series had plenty of good moments, but it also had some pretty bad ones too. But I'll go more into detail when we get the final chapter or if I do a future final impressions on the Naruto series. In other Naruto related news, we get a new key visual for the upcoming Naruto movie, The Last. This one features Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Shikamaru, Sai, Kakashi, and Hinata. Now in this pic, we get to see Naruto in his new outfit, but this time he's wearing a red scarf. I heard this is a tribute to Kushina, his mother, because of her long red hair, and honestly, I don't mind the scarf. The only problem I have with Naruto's new look is the hairstyle. I'm not saying that he should get longer hair like Minato. I'm just saying that his hair does not look right to me. I think it's probably because of the headband. Maybe it's just me. But one thing that does strike me as odd is that Hinata is the only one that's looking to the side while everyone else is just looking straight. Plus, we don't get to see what her new look is. From what we can tell from this key visual is that Hinata looks the same. I don't know why they're keeping it a secret. Maybe there's a reason. We also get a couple new sketches on Naruto and Sakura, plus a teaser for the plot of the last Naruto the movie. According to the teaser, and this may or may not be accurate, the moon is going to collide with the earth and Naruto and the others have to stop it somehow. So basically it's going to be like Majora's Mask. Now the question is, is this going to be the actual moon or is this the moon that Kaguya got sealed in? Well since Kaguya was sealed in a different dimension, it's highly unlikely. It does kind of sound interesting, especially since a villain hasn't been revealed yet for the movie, but we probably won't know the full synopsis to the movie, at least until a full-length trailer is released. Alright, that's enough of that, so let's get started on Naruto chapter 695, Naruto and Sasuke 2. So the chapter begins with a really cool color page, courtesy of Kishimoto. Kudos to him, the artwork is really good. And then the fight between Naruto and Sasuke officially commence as they separate from each other after the clash they had at the end of the previous chapter, Sasuke uses one of his signature techniques, fire style fireball jutsu, the katan gokakyo no jutsu. Naruto activates his QB mode and summons a giant chakra arm to block the attack, but this was merely a diversion for Sasuke to get behind Naruto and attack him with his chidori. I assumed that he used his Rinnegan technique to switch places with something to get behind Naruto, but we don't see what he switched places with, so it could be anything, or it could have been just a regular old shunshin jutsu. Sasuke's attack kinda hits Naruto, but I assume that he blocks it with his three gudodamas. He didn't summon all of them, just three for some reason, but the attack still sends Naruto flying behind the statues at the Valley of the End. So Sasuke activates level 2 Susano, I believe, and shoots out three arrows. But Naruto uses his gudodamas to block the arrows, which their collision causes the water to burst out. Sasuke comes in flying towards Naruto with his perfect Susano, which forces Naruto to activate his B mode and using two of its tails to block the Susano's sword sling. Now, in the next page, we basically see a bunch of water explosions happening. We get to see one panel of the Kyuubi's tail blocking the Susano's sword. And then we get a two-page spread of the perfect Susano and the Kyuubi fist bumping each other. Well, not really fist bumping, but more like their punches came in contact with each other. And I gotta admit, I really do like this page. It looks really cool, especially with the title 
waves right behind them. That's basically how strong Naruto and Sasuke are at this point. Although, I gotta be honest here, I was expecting more variety in the techniques. You know, more taijutsu, more ninjutsu. Maybe the anime will add some additional scenes to their fight once it gets there. Which I really hope the anime does a really good job with their battle. I mean, they did a really good job with their first battle at the Valley of the End back in part 1. So, fingers crossed on that. However, in the next page, we get something that many guys really hate, and it is flashbacks. To be fair, most of the flashbacks are actually not bad. They're actually pretty good. I especially like the first flashback where you get to see half of the page of Naruto being alone, and the other half of the page with Sasuke being alone. However, the next page with the flashback, I did not care at all. It was the same flashback that we've seen before. Naruto and Sasuke seeing each other, sharing looks near the dock. And I really want Kishimoto to not use unnecessary flashbacks. Flashbacks that we've seen before many, many times. The series is going to end in five weeks. we got around like four or five chapters to go. I don't want Kishimoto to waste these chapters with unnecessary flashbacks. I did like the third flashback that we got to see. It was back in part one when Sasuke was yelling at Naruto saying that he was alone from the very beginning so he couldn't possibly understand anything about Sasuke about what it's like to lose someone or to have that bond severed and in the last two panels we get to see one with Jiraiya and Naruto and the makeshift tombstone that Naruto made in honor of uh, Jiraiya. I actually like this because it shows that yes back then Naruto didn't know what it was like to lose someone he cares about unless you count Sarutobi that kind of counts as something, right? I don't know, but now he knows what Sasuke is going through because he too lost someone he cared about, and that was Jiraiya. But there is another problem that I found out about these flashbacks. They're kind of distracting us from the fight. We do get panels in between the flashbacks, seeing Naruto and Sasuke fighting, but it's mostly them attacking using the Susano sword or the Kyuubi's tails, and most of the time we just see water explosions. Back at the fight, according to Sasuke, it seems that Naruto is just staying on the defensive and not going all out. You can make the assumption that Naruto doesn't want to kill Sasuke, but Sasuke does tell him that if he doesn't take the initiative, if he doesn't go all out, then he'll eventually die. However, Naruto replies, you who is just planning to become alone again, I can't let that happen. And in his thoughts, he declared that Sasuke is the closest friend he's ever had. Now, I am so glad I waited for the manga stream translation because in Manga Panda, Naruto said in his thoughts that Sasuke was his one and only friend. If I reviewed this chapter earlier, I would have been freaking pissed and went on a rant about Naruto not knowing what it means to be an actual good friend. And yet, in this translation, even though I'm not mad, I'm still irked at what Naruto said. I could name, off the top of my head, names of people who are way better friends to Naruto than Sasuke. But the fact that he called Sasuke his closest friend he's ever had just gives a huge slap to the face to the one person that actually acknowledged him from the very beginning. Oh, I wish, but no, she doesn't count because Naruto's an oblivious idiot. No, I am talking about Iruka, the guy that, yes, does gives Naruto a hard time, but treats him to ramen, comforted him when he learned that Jiraiya was dead, even said that he considered Naruto as his brother back in Turtle Island, took a shuriken to the back to protect Naruto, and was the first person to acknowledge him as not Kurama, as not the Kyuubi, as not a demon, as not a Jinchuriki, but as Naruto himself. Oh. And did I mention that his parents died when Kurama attacked Konoha, all thanks to Obito? Uruka did all of that for him, and yet he still considers Sasuke as his closest friend? Really, Naruto? Thanks to you, I'm defending a character that I neither like nor dislike. In fact, we've never seen this guy ever again, ever since Turtle Island. Seriously, what the hell happened to him? Okay, uh, anyway, back on track. Sasuke prepares a Chidori using his Susano, so it's the Susano that's using the Chidori. Never seen that happen before, so that is definitely unique, that's for sure. As for Naruto, he prepares a Bijudama. Both attacks uh, collide, and it causes a massive spear-like explosion. The sheer force of the collision 
collision causes all the water to、um, disperse at a huge radius. Parts of the Hashirama statue starts to break, and Naruto and Sasuke are engulfed in white. And in case you guys are wondering why this is so familiar, this is their equivalent to the Rasengan Chidori clash that they did at the final part of their fight back in Part One. This was also done during the Five Kage Summit arc. However, this time it's Sasuke and Susanoo using the Chidori, and it's Naruto using the Bijuu Dama, which is the equivalent to the Rasengan. Now, just like those last two times, Naruto and Sasuke enter the white interdimensional plane, and in this, Sasuke tells Naruto that they're no longer the same people they were once they fought here a long time ago. He knows about Naruto's thoughts and feelings, and Naruto also knows about his. And that is where the chapter ends. So that is Naruto chapter 695. What did I think? Honestly, I thought this chapter was a pretty good read. There was plenty of action in this chapter, which I believe action junkies will definitely. Like as long as they tolerate the flashbacks. The flashbacks were actually tolerable to me. I didn't mind most of them. However, there were some flashbacks that I did not like. As for the fight itself, I thought it was top notch at the beginning, and I was not expecting Naruto and Sasuke to activate Perfect Susano and Bijuu mode so soon, which I didn't mind because this means that they're gonna go all out. At least Sasuke is going all out. I'm not sure about Naruto, but I can't help but feel like something is missing in their fight. Maybe I was expecting to see. More different techniques, more variety in the fight. You know, using different kinds of ninjutsu and taijutsu, which I'm pretty sure the anime is going to add that. And I gotta be frank here, I think this fight will be way more enjoyable in the anime than in the manga. However, there is another thing that's bugging me about this fight, and since we have around four to five chapters to go until the series ends, I can't help but feel Kishimoto is rushing this fight. I mean, we already got the Rasengan Chidori clash. At least the equivalent to that, and they're already at the same white interdimensional plane. I hope I'm wrong, but back in part one, with their first fight at the Valley of the End, it lasted around seven chapters. We have only like four to five chapters left. So who knows how long this fight is going to last? As for what's going to happen next week, we're obviously going to get a conversation between Naruto and Sasuke. I hope it's not going to take up the majority or the entire chapter because the fight just started, and I want to see more. And I gotta be honest here, I'm not really looking forward to their conversation, not that much. So yeah, overall, this chapter. I thought it was good. So tell me, guys, what are your thoughts on this week's chapter of Naruto? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What are your first impressions so far on the Naruto versus Sasuke fight? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to more videos. And be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google Plus. So yeah, that is Naruto chapter 695. I'm gonna respond to my seven, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.